My name is Terry Gaines, and I will be uh, discussing Carl Rogers. Information was uh, taken from the online website at Laterno at www.psychologistanywhereanytime.com. Carl Rogers was born January the 8th, 1902 in Oak Park, Illinois. His father was a civil engineer and his mother was a housewife and a devout Christian. Carl Rogers was, fourth of, was the fourth of six children. In 1945, he was invited to set up a counseling center at the University of Chicago. It was while working there in 1951, he published his first major book, Client Center Therapy. In 1964, Rogers was selected Humanist of the Year by the American Humanist Associ Association. Rogers' theory is a clinical one, and it's based on, on years of his clinical experience with his, dealing with his clients. The theory is considered humanistic. His theory is based on 19 propositions. Carl Rogers is best known for his contributions to therapy. His therapy has gone through many name changes along the way. He originally called it non-directive because he felt that the therapist should not lead the client but be there for the client while the client directs the progress of the therapy. As Rogers became more experienced, he realized that he, as non-directive as he was, he still influenced his clients by his very own non-directiveness. In other words, clients still look to the therapist for guidance even when the therapist is not trying to guide them. So he changed the name to client-centered. He still felt that the client was the one who should say what it is wrong, find ways of improving, and determine the progress of their therapy. With this widely developed uh, therapy that Cord Rogers developed, uh, on a humanistic base. The therapist actually uh, listens to the person's conscious and self-perceptions without judging, interpreting, or directing the client towards certain insights. Rogers believed that most people already possess the resources for growth. Rogers encouraged the therapist to exhibit genuineness, acceptance, empathy, he states, when the therapists drop their facades and genuinely express their true feelings, when they enable their clients to, to feel unconditionally accepted, even when they empathetically sense and reflect the client's feelings, the client may deepen their self-understanding and self-acception. Self there is one technique that Rogerian therapists is particularly known for and it's called reflection. Reflection is the mirroring of emotional communication. For example, if the client says, I feel horrible, the therapist may reflect back to the client saying something like, so life is getting you down, hey? By doing this, the therapist is communicating to the client that he is indeed listening and cares enough to understand. In 1987, Rogers suffered a, a fall with a, and, and, and resulted in a fractured hip. He had a successful operation, but during, through, the, through the night his heart fell and he died uh, a couple of days later. And that is the ending of my um, information on Carl Rogers. Thank you.